really excited to be talking to you today. So um, the number one thing I want to do is if um, anybody has any questions or you have trouble hearing me, please feel free to jump in and, uh, and let me know um, if, if you're having trouble hearing me. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask everyone here who is uh, non-First Nations uh, as to, do you know why we're all in North America? Does anybody have an, an, an answer? And it's a bit of a rhetorical question because I know a lot of you are on mute. But one of the reasons that all people, other than the First Nations folks who may be on the call, is because of vitamin C. Vitamin C is the reason why uh, we were able to travel and expand outside of um, our home countries, our, uh, from Africa, from Europe, from Asia, and get to North America. And that's because vitamin C was so vital uh, in, in sea travel. And if you guys go back and you remember the stories around scurvy, it was because uh, the travelers at that time were vitamin C deficient. And it was only in, I think, 17, the late 1700, there was um, a book produced by Norman Howarth, Dr. Norman Howarth, uh, called The Surgeon's Mate. And The Surgeon's Mate would describe these sailors going on long voyages and dying. They would die because their organs would collapse. They would start bleeding through their eyes and their mouths and, and, and pores. And that was because vitamin C is the key nutrient that holds our cells together. This vitamin C is so important in so many functions, and we may think of it as, as um, immunity, but it's so much more than that, guys. Um, it holds our cells together. It helps build our muscle. A lot of you are familiar with collagen, and there's a lot of talk around collagen today, but vitamin C is the precursor to collagen. You can't build collagen in your bodies, connective tissue, muscle without vitamin C. And vitamin C is so important. And that's why you see uh, a lot of uh, bodybuilders and, and fitness people, and I'll talk about some scientific articles around vitamin C a little bit later, who are, um, who are so completely focused on taking a lot of vitamin C. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to talk about my personal experience with vitamin C and where I came from. And so I came from a place at three years old being a super hyperactive ADHD kid with a ton of learning disabilities. Um, I can't even exp express to you, but if any of you remember whole movies before the advent of the cell phone, kids were running around in circles going absolutely crazy. These, these were known as the hyperactive or uncontrollable children. I was one of those children. Uh, my parents wanted to put me on drugs. Luckily, my grandparents lived next door to a fellow by the name of Dr. Abram Hoffer. And Dr. Hoffer was one of the founders of the Orthomolecular Society. And the Orthomolecular Society is probably, this group of people is probably the reason why most of you are on this phone call today. The Orthomolecular Society and the people behind it were Linus Pauling, Albert Santian Gorgi, uh, Abram Hoffer, and Erwin Stone, and several others. These were guys in the late 1960s, early 70s, who said, we can treat physiological, physical uh, ailments with diet and supplementation. So Dr. Hoffer looked at my parents and said, we're going to put this kid on megadoses of vitamin C, megadoses of B vitamins, and we're going to remove all sugar from his diet. Well, lo and behold, guys, I was able to be sitting down for more than 30 seconds at a time. My dyslexia and my other learning disabilities became treatable. I was all of a sudden able to interact with my classmates and adults without having these, you know, being able to not focus for one minute straight. So it was really important. And I was on this megadose vitamin uh, regimen from the time I was three years old until 14, 15 years old and no sugar whatsoever. So 
we went uh, fast forward and I started in the vitamin C industry in 1998 because it was something that was so pivotal in my life uh, that I was passionate about it and, and sought out a vitamin C company to go and, and work for. And at that time, it was a company called Emergency. And some of you may be familiar with it. And many of the people that are at Pauling Labs, the makers of NRC, uh, were former um, employees of, of, um, of Pfizer. But what we did is we said, listen, we had loved this company, um, but, and we love this product. Uh, the company was purchased by a large pharmaceutical company. We were all out of a job and we said, we love this product, but we know we could make it better. So we, we got together, a group of us, and we sat down and we said, how are we going to make this better? And some of us had some ideas, but we wanted to base it on two human truths. We're all thirsty by nature and we all need a little bit more energy and vitality. So I wanted to create formulas along with my colleagues and partners that provided health, healthy drinks in a delicious, natural way. So that's how NRC was born. And we really believe that you want to drink your vitamins um, for better bioavailability, for better experiential issues, and really to build NRC for year-round hydration, immunity, and those important electrolytes, which, which I'll talk about in a little while. So I personally believe that we're all vitamin C deficient. I'm gonna jump for a minute and I'm gonna say to you guys, here's another interesting and fun fact that all animals produce their own vitamin C with the exception of human beings, guinea pigs, and fruit bats. And those animals that produce their own vitamin C happen to live seven times their age of maturity. Think about that for a few minutes. If we're physically maturing, not emotionally maturing, but let's say physically maturing at 20 years old, we would be living to 140 years old. Those animals that produce their own vitamin C within their own bodies are producing a vast amount of vitamin C. If we look at a rat, which is physiologically very similar to um, uh, human beings, a rat will produce, depending on the levels of stress that they're under, anywhere from uh, three to 12,000 milligrams, that's three to 12 grams a day in their body. And the more stress they're under, the more vitamin C they'll produce. These animals as well don't have the same typical uh, vascular diseases that we have, the pulmonary or heart diseases we have. And I'm a big believer that, that those levels of vitamin C, if you recall when I was talking earlier about the levels of collagen um, and, and how important vitamin C is with collagen, collagen is that thing that helps our connective tissue stay together. And because we're mostly vitamin C deficient, or so I believe, there's a term for that as well. It's called hypoascorbicemia. Uh, but the fact that we are deficient, um, I believe, is the reason why we have many of these diseases that our animal cousins don't have uh, that produce their own vitamin C. The type of vitamin C that we use in our product in NRC is called mineral ascorbate. And you may be familiar with three, maybe four different types of vitamin C. There's ascorbic acid that is the vitamin C that was first isolated in 1973. Another fun fact about vitamin C uh, in, uh, uh, sorry, in, um, in 1930, it was 1931, pardon me. But the interesting thing is that vitamin C won two Nobel prizes in the same year. One was for chemical isolation and one was around medicine. It's the only vitamin that's been issued a Nobel Prize and twice in one year. So if we're talking about the mineral ascorbates, just jumping back a little bit, the animals that produce their own vitamin C produce it in the form of mineral ascorbate. So when we wanted to produce our NRC, we wanted to mimic this as closely as possible. The ascorbic acid is sort of the synthesized form of vitamin C. There's a mineral bicarbonate uh, form called ester C, which is an intimate 
intermediate form between the ascorbic acid and the mineral ascorbate. And then there's a newer form with, with not a lot of science, but it's interesting around it called liposomal vitamin C, uh, which is fat soluble. But again, not a lot of science and, and I can't really uh, speak to that at this point, but I can talk all day long about mineral ascorbates. So we, we're formulating with mineral ascorbates. There's a little bit of ascorbic acid in our formula and we put that in there essentially to create that natural fizziness. So there are 24 other minerals and vitamins in NRC and the, a little bit of ascorbic acid that we have in there creates a reaction which creates a natural effervescence. The other really important thing is, remember when I went back and I was talking about the two human truths, and one of those human truths is that we could all use with a little bit more energy and vitality. And I think we'll all agree with that. And that's why so much coffee and tea is sold every year. The reason we're low on energy most times is because we're dehydrated. And another way of saying we're dehydrated is we're low on electrolytes. Guys, we're bags of mostly water. And every smell, touch, feel, taste that we have is all because of the electrochemical signals that are running through our body. And those electrochemical signals are all carried by electrolytes. So when we're low on energy, we are basically, we're basically low on electrolytes. And I'm gonna give you a science experiment that you can perform on yourself. So when we eat lunch, after lunch, we get a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued. Why does that happen? It happens because all of our electrolytes are being pumped from our body through our vagus nerve into our stomach to help digest our food. That's why people say, well, I need a coffee after lunch or I need a cup of tea. I've got a better, I've got an experiment for you and a better suggestion. If you take a packet of NRC, either just before you eat lunch, with your lunch or after lunch, you'll notice that you don't have what's called that post lunchtime dip, which is a post lunchtime energy dip. So really important to understand that that vitamin C, uh, sorry, that NRC that we have with all of our electrolytes is really gonna help give you that additional energy because it's bringing more electrolytes to you. Um, we also have the, the B vitamins, which also help digest your food. So B vitamins give you energy by converting your food to energy, to ATP and ADP energy in your body. There's potassium and the B vitamins that I talked about as well. The other thing with electrolytes, which is really important, is headaches. Did you guys know that 80% of all low-grade headaches are caused by dehydration? So again, a really cool experiment you can try is if you have a bit of a headache, or if you consume a little bit of alcohol and the next day you're not feeling great, take an NRC and you'll notice that those headaches seem to just disappear. So it's pretty, it, it's pretty interesting. We've got vitamin A, vitamin E, the A and E, the E is a great antioxidant for anti-aging. The vitamin A is fantastic for skin and nail uh, health, eye health as well. Also, the A and E along with the vitamin C will be are really, really good for um, the bioavailability of the vitamin C. So it really helps um, absorb uh, that vitamin C. We put a little bit of iodine in, in our product as well. And we did that because North Americans in particular aren't getting iodine in their diet to protect their thyroid anymore. Um, if you guys recall, we used to all have iodized table salt, but that's sort of gone to the side. People aren't using it anymore. They're eating uh, either specialty salts or prepared foods that don't use iodized table salt. So we need to protect our thyroid. And we're using a really beautiful um, sea brine source of iodine. So wherever we can in, uh, in NRC, we're really, really focused entirely on uh, using plant-based uh, ingredients as much as possible. So everything in our product is plant-based as well. Um, we're non-GMO, and I want to talk a little bit about why we're non-GMO as well, and what non-GMO means to, uh, to us, to our company, and I think to the planet. 
there's been a lot of debate around uh, genetically modified foods um, affecting health, and, 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 and there's still a lot of debate going on around that. And I think that it's coming back that genetically modified foods are not necessarily healthy. But where NRC is taking a stand on, on certifying non-GMO is really around the agricultural piece. When you are farming genetically modified crops, you have to buy the seeds from big pharma. Big pharma companies now own most of the patents on genetically modified seeds. I personally, along with uh, our team family here, feel that it's morally abhorrent to be uh, having to go and buy the seeds for farmers to go and have to buy seeds after harvesting their crops, they can't sow their seeds. They have to go and buy them. So no one but Mother Earth should own the seeds of this planet. So that's why we stand so firmly as a, a non-GMO company. I should also mention as well, we have a really great complement of zinc in our product, um, which is five milligrams of zinc, which is really good for that immunity piece. And, you know, I haven't really talked about um, the immunity um, side of, of vitamin C, which it, vitamin C is so famous for, but there is so there are so many articles on um, scientific articles on vitamin C and immunity. And basically, I'll just describe really briefly what vitamin C does um, to trigger the immune response. So high levels of vitamin C will trigger neutrophils and the white blood cells to start producing um, uh, to, to start producing and reproducing. And what ends up happening is you have um, a higher level of white blood cell with higher levels of vitamin C. There's a direct correlation. And then vitamin C also helps uh, with the production of microphage uh, antibodies that, that typically come out of the spleen. So the higher the level of the vitamin C, the better your immune system is going to be to prepare to fight off colds, flus, uh, and any of these viruses that are coming around, uh, that are around today. Um, there is clear scientific evidence that vitamin C will shorten the duration of colds and flus um, to a significant degree. So it's really important. One of the things, so I'm going to jump back now and I'm going to talk about sugar-free. If you guys recall, in the first part of the presentation, I was talking about my childhood and how my childhood was entirely sugar-free. I had birthday parties where I uh, had friends over. Um, my, my friends would get regular birthday cakes. I would get these disgusting carob birthday cakes with no sugar and you know maybe some fruit sugar in there if I was lucky. But I lived my life without sugar, and I'm. Um, one of these people who is an extreme advocate for um, as little sugar as possible in one's diet. I happen to believe that sugar um, is um, a bit of a neurotoxin. I believe that our obesity um, pandemic and epidemic is one of um, the leading causes of death and, and, and caused by the vast amount of sugar uh, that we consume on a daily basis. Um, and and so what I wanted to do is create something that was completely sugar-free with NRC. Our other, um, our, our regular NRC has a little bit of sugar. It's got five grams of sugar. And, you know, you compare that to an apple, which has got about 18 grams of sugar in sucrose, fructose, and glucose. I, we, it was still low sugar on our regular NRC, but I wanted to create something for me personally, where it was no sugar whatsoever, because I just don't want sugar in my diet. So we created um, NRC sugar-free. So most of the sugar in North America uh, in our diets comes from beverages. Um, you know, a can of Coke, and I'm, I'm not sure how many people drink soda uh, on this call, but a can of Coke can have up to 60 grams of sugar. That's six zero grams of sugar. Um, beer uh, will have 40 grams of sugar. Uh, glasses of wine have a lot of sugar. 
Um, so most of our sugar does come from sugary beverages um, and, and, you know, ob uh, obesity is the result with major cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes, dental issues, and that we, and we now know that dental and oral health is directly related to cardiovascular health as well. So very important to think. So the other thing is, is that sugar in large quantities can completely suppress immunity. So two sodas, two 12 ounce sodas, which again, as I said, have about 120, between 100 and 120 grams of sugar uh, can cause a 50% drop in the ability of uh, white blood cells to, uh, to perform their, their duties uh, within the body. So when we created NRC Sugar Free, it was, it's the first effervescent uh, drink mix to be certified non-GMO and sugar free. Again, no artificial colors and flavors. So we use only real fruit powders when you're consuming our product. And this is how we sort of took this product that we loved and knew we could make it better by putting real fruit and vegetable powders in our products. Our um, tangerine grapefruit, which is one of my favorites, you know, it, when you mix it up, it's kind of got a psychedelic color on top of it. And that's because we use purple uh, potato uh, to color it. Uh, we use beta carotene to color our orange. Orange, we have a thousand milligrams of orange powder uh, in our orange, but orange can be quite pale in color. So how do we spike that up? We added a little bit of beta carotene, which is a natural food source of, of vitamin A. Um, there are 11 calories in it, um, but no sugar. And the 11 calories are coming from the fruit, fruit carbohydrates uh, that we have in, in our sugar-free. So we wanted to create this option, number one for me, but also for people who require low sugar regimens or are diabetic and also potentially could be on uh, a keto diet as well. So really important to note that all NRC, there's nothing fake, it's all natural. They're whole food ingredients for the most part. So our vitamin C is from sugar beet. Uh, the sugar that we use in our fructose version is from evaporated cane sugar. So very natural, unprocessed sugar. Um, we've got a thousand milligrams of this beautiful mineral ascorbate. And then we've got 25 minerals and vitamins in, in, in all of our NRC lines um, for you guys to enjoy and to keep you happy, uh, healthy, um, and, and hydrated uh, so you can live your best life naturally every day. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's in that sugar-free as well. And um, the sugar-free, it took us years because I'm one of those people who hates the, um, the, the, the taste of stevia. Um, and that's just because I'm considered what's called a super taster. Um, as a super taster, um, I get a bit of a, a, a metallic taste in my mouth with stevia. So when we started um, NRC, it was my goal to create a sugar-free, but I couldn't find anything that I loved and wanted to drink every day. So we came up with um, erythritol and stevia. So erythritol is a tree alcohol um, that provides sweetness without calories or sugar, and basically a little bit of the stevia. And what we found is, is the flavor was naturally sweet without any of the um, negative uh, effects of stevia that, that can have on, on the mouth. So um, as you can see, the same great formula uh, that we have uh, in, in, um, in our regular NRC. I will point out that many people have trouble um, absorbing uh, B vitamins uh, because of a special uh, genetic issue. And, um, and that's with the cyanocobalamins. We're trying to use methylated Bs wherever we can. Um, and you'll see that in our B12 there as well. So again, everything that we're doing with in NRC is really focused around bioavailability. Um, so natural, whole food, and then again, ensuring that the ingredients that we're using are the most premium ingredients that are completely uh, bioavailable. Um, so the erythritol as well, just 
safest of, of all of the uh, sugar substitutes. So some of you may bake with xylitol and that you'll notice that sometimes there's a little bit of tummy trouble there uh, with the xylitol. The erythritol doesn't have any of those issues and it's also known as the safest sugar substitute uh, there is on, uh, on the market today. Um, I'm going to spend just a minute or two, and I know that this um, this is all about uh, sugar free and and being sugar free. And before I jump into uh, my, I just want to have a quick talk around a lot um, my electrolytes. I just want to take a stop for a minute because I've noticed there's a couple of questions, and I also want to point out um, I I've got to thank Healthy Planet for hosting this today as well. Um, and do, do want to point out that um, I'm hoping you guys are interested in the NRC. And just note, uh, for the month of April, um, I believe we are on special at $12.99, uh, which is a significant uh, savings. Um, so Carla asked as well, and I, and I did address it, but I'm, I'm also going to, um, to just answer it again. So we, the chief, Carla O'Brien asked, what, what are you using? Uh, what are, what are you, what kind of cane fructose are, or what kind of fructose are you using in NRC? And we're using cane, uh, it's evaporated cane fructose. So it's basically from cane juice and it, it's just evaporated. So no processing whatsoever and it's non-GMO. Um, Sal asks, what's the recommended daily dosage for vitamin C? So Sal, I'm a big believer, the recommended daily dosage is, is under a thousand milligrams. As I discussed earlier, I think all animals are vitamin C deficient. I believe that you should be taking at least two grams or 2000 milligrams a day. I personally take four to six a day. Um, and um, you know, I have two little parasites, a 10 and a, and a 13 year old running around my house. Plus we've also been in, an, in a pandemic. Um, it's anecdotal, but I haven't been sick in, in, over, uh, in over four years, five years. Uh, and it's just the levels of vitamin C that I'm taking as well. Um, does Nikki asks, does vitamin C help prevent eyelid sty? Um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't Nikki. And there's, uh, there's nothing in, in there that I can, I can talk to, uh, about, uh, about that, the eyelid, um, sty, uh, there, uh, and I'm sorry for the eyelid sty. Um, is the erythritol uh, sorry, I referred to it, pardon me, and LT uh, asked, is erythritol different from wood alcohol? You refer to it as tree alcohol. It's a sugar alcohol. Uh, forgive me uh, for, uh, for misspeaking there. I, I meant to say uh, 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 sugar alcohol. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process that it's put through. Um, so Joanne asks one of the most important questions um, that's, that's near and dear to me. Um, I love this product from an environmental perspective. Is there any plan to package the product in a bottle versus individual packets? So this is an ongoing, uh, question that we have. I want to make a couple of points and they're not excuses. I just, I need to, to make a couple of points here. The first one is around, um, our packaging 300, um, packets of NRC would eat, be the equivalent of one 16 ounce or single serve bottle. Now that doesn't help things at all, but it, it's still, it's sort of a, a quantum. We are working very hard to get to compostable packaging so that eventually you'll just be able to throw uh, the packets into your green waste. The reason why it's in sachets is because it's effervescent. And uh, that effervescent means that any ambient moisture that gets into the packet can, um, can cause uh, uh, the packets to harden. And when I talk about our NRC sport, you'll see that it's non-effervescent and that we have started moving that into, uh, into bottles, into tubs as well. But it is uh, our big, hairy, audacious goal as a company to, uh, to, to get our uh, uh, product as environmentally responsible as possible. Um, and, and Jackie had the same question as well. Thanks for that, those questions, guys. Really, 
um, really important. Um, so Amanda, oh, and Chloe's answered a couple of questions. Thanks, Chloe. No caffeine in the product. Uh, so thanks for asking that. Um, as far, and Andrew's asking, um, can it help with dry eyes? Well, hydration helps with dry eyes for sure, but there's no scientific proof around vitamin C uh, to, uh, to basically uh, say specifically for dry eyes, but it's really around that hydration piece. And um, there's a question around, does it have to be effervescent? It doesn't. And you know, we're, we're starting to talk a little bit about what it tastes like. Part of the reason and the, the ease of taking um, NRC is that it self mixes the effervescence as part of, uh, part of the allure. But you know, it is something that we're working with and it is something that we're super conscious of and that we are um, wanting to make a change. I, you know, since you guys asked so many scientific questions and, and we're, you know, about health, health issues around it, and it's a really good segue for me to jump into, um, to jump into um, the sport, but in um, the British Medical Journal in, um, published on uh, the 20, in November, 2014, uh, they came out with uh, the um, breathe easy uh, after exercise with vitamin C. So what they found is in this uh, scientific article is that increased levels of vitamin C also helps with respiration. Um, so it's funny that they've now come out with um, a whole bunch of articles on respiration and vitamin C. Uh, the Journal of Allergy, Asthma and Clinical Immunology um, in um, 2014 as well, um, came out with an article saying the effect of vitamin C on bronchoconstriction uh, and respiratory systems caused by exercise has a, an extremely positive effect. Um, so it, very interesting that respiration and vitamin C are so closely tied together. And guys, just so you know, there are so many um, uh, scientific articles on, on vitamin C out there. One of the things that we did, um, because I, I like to exercise quite a bit and I'm very focused on electrolytes, is we developed NRC Sport as well, which is also a great product. Quite a bit of, uh, electro, uh, quite a bit of vitamin C in it as well. Um, but what we wanted to do is we wanted to have a pure electrolyte formula for those who were involved in sport and for those who wanted, uh, and also for those who were ill with, who needed clinical uh, rehydration. So um, this product came out of me um, getting, um, working with um, some physicians as well as some biochemists, because what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a saline bag or what's referred to in the medical community as a banana bag and basically put it into a packet or put it into a powdered dose and dehydrate it so that everybody could have uh, the ultimate in, um, in electrolytes. So basically we took the banana bag, which is the formula within the saline bag is really based around oral rehydration standards or World Health Organization has set these standards and really to turn around and say, how can we recreate this in a very easy and convenient way uh, to use it. So I had talked uh, previously a lot about um, energy, mental clarity, uh, headaches, every feeling, taste, touch that we have is all due to electrolytes. And then to your guys' question on environmental um, uh, responsibility and, and, and impact, um, the NRC sport is non-effervescent. So we took our first step uh, to that and that these are in, in bottles or tubs um, that are fully recyclable. And we're actually moving those tubs to post-consumer recycled material. So um, if they'll all, when you receive them, they'll already be fully recycled once, and then they'll be able to go in for a, a secondary uh, uh, recycling. Um, again, set it up with a perfect ratio of electrolytes for optimal absorption. Um, there is one gram of non-GMO gluten-free glucose to assist with electrolyte absorption. One of the things that's important to note between 
are sugar-free uh, and are regular. And this product is, you need to have a little bit of ambient sugar in the body. So you either need to have eaten something or, um, or eat a piece of fruit with the sugar-free to get the most electrolyte benefits. And the reason why we've got the five grams of the, the uh, fructose in, uh, in our regular uh, NRC multivitamin is um, for that absorption of those electrolytes. So really important with this product, with our NRC Sport, the, uh, the one gram of, of uh, glucose is perfect ratio of, for absorption uh, for, for our electrolytes. And then you can see the formula uh, right there. So a um, little bit of vitamin C, again, the right amount for respiration. And then, um, and then really, uh, from our perspective, one of the most complex um, electrolyte formulas out there. There are a lot of electrolytes on the market that are just pure sugar, uh, which is not right either. And very few really clinical uh, uh, electrolyte um, products out there as well. Um, I'm going to check and see if there's there's a few more in the Q and A before I before I um, uh, jump off. Um, so Francine asked, I noticed you took the vitamin D, you took out the vitamin D in the new product. We've never had vitamin D uh, in NRC. Um, however, uh, we are going to uh, be coming out with something very exciting in the vitamin D world. Uh, uh, within the next uh, six months. So keep your eyes peeled with that. And then um, an anonymous attendee, and I think I know why they asked this question, is should you, should you use a straw when you're drinking uh, NRC? Uh, I think you're asking that for oral health, but no, the vitamin C is really good for oral health and you want to be able to have that in your mouth uh, in order to assist um, uh, with your oral health and your, your, um, your teeth, because vitamin C is so important uh, for your gums and enamel building as well. So really important there. Um, and that's sort of, you know, it. I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, early and, and, and finished off, but I was just sort of, if there are any other questions, we're always available. You can always reach us uh, at Instagram and you can DM us at TryNRC. Uh, our website is www.trynrc.com. You can uh, email us anytime at info at polling labs. And again, I just wanted to call out um, the, our, our partners at Healthy Planet. Um, I am so proud uh, that, that Healthy carries our products and uh, honored that they've decided to put us on sale this month. It's really exciting uh, to have spent this time with you guys today and share my love of vitamin C and, uh, and the sugar-free revolution that we're all on. Um, and if that's it, I'll, I'll stick around for another minute, but if anybody, and see if anybody has any other questions. But uh, other than that, thanks again uh, so much for uh, for spending the time and please stop by Healthy Planet again and, and pick up your box for $12.99. Thank you guys. Rich, can I jump in on one question that was just missed? Sure, please. Yeah. Um, LT also asked me, since he stopped consuming soft drinks, he started consuming a lot of our product. I had a packet to a glass of fizzy mineral water and find it quite refreshing. I've become addicted to the product and I've gone through as many as four boxes in a month. Could I be getting too much vitamin C? Yeah, so um, the answer is in your body. So I will take quite a bit of vitamin C, but if you start noticing that you become gassy or have a little gastrointestinal problem, that's sort of, that means you've reached your, uh, your maximum. Um, but I've known people that are taking 12 grams or, you know, eight to 12 packets of our product a day that aren't having any issue. And again, the mineral ascorbate, because it's so bioavailable, um, should be easy to take. The other thing I do want to point out, and I love putting uh, my NRC into my soda stream as well. I, I just, I love it, um, is um, you should be taking vitamin C throughout the day should be taking it in the morning, you should be taking it in the afternoon, and you should be taking it in the evening. And the reason being is your body doesn't store it. In those animals that I was talking about earlier, 
that store uh, their own vitamin C, they store it in their, uh, in their adrenals. So they can release it throughout the day. We can't store it. Um, we can't store it anywhere. Um, so it's really important that you take, take it throughout the day. Um, somebody asked, if, does it come in non-citrus flavors? Um, yeah, we have a raspberry flavor, we have a cranberry flavor, we have a pineapple coconut flavor, and they're all available at Healthy Planet for, for $12.99 this month. Uh, Monique's asking, is it water soluble? It absolutely is a water soluble vitamin. Thank you very much um, for asking that question as well. Um, Marina asked, if you have stomach acidity, I'm assuming, uh, can you use vitamin C? Absolutely. So again, um, and I didn't mention this, so I shouldn't say again, but NRC was designed to be completely pH neutral. So you shouldn't have any issue with the, um, with the acidity of, um, of NRC. And again, completely pH neutral, try it with one pack, um, but I'm convinced you, you shouldn't have any issue. Um, from my own experience, how did I kick uh, the sugar habit? I, I didn't have a choice. Um, when I was three years old, um, my parents removed all sugar from my diet because it turned me into an atomic bomb. So um, I, because I didn't have sugar throughout my life, um, I um, unfortunately um, never developed a taste for it. Uh, although from time to time, I, I will eat a cookie uh, like going forward. Um, so Sal asked, I understand fructose is sugar. I understand monk fruit is a better sweetener. Yeah, you know, monk fruit is an interesting sweetener. It doesn't give the same um, sort of mouthfeel uh, that, that fructose does. And we were looking at using monk fruit as uh, our, within our sugar-free. Um, the other, um, the other issue is, is that monk fruit is uh, not regulated uh, very well around the world. So uh, we just had a little bit of trouble getting um, clarity on, on, on our non-GMO monk fruit and a few, a few other things. Um, and then um, Marianne asked, do I consume dark chocolate? And um, I don't consume a lot of chocolate, but uh, uh, sometimes I do. Um, so, and again, we currently only have two sugar-free, but that's about to change in a month. We've got the orange and our mixed berry, but we're coming out with a passion fruit and a uh, lemon ginger. And those are coming out, uh, you sh they should be on shelf in June for everybody. Um, I don't know. LT asked about the root beer flavored electrolyte. I don't, I don't, I don't remember seeing that. And, and maybe it's a, it's a good product. Uh, maybe we'll come out with a root beer flavored uh, NRC one of these days. Thanks LT. All right. Well, thanks guys. Um, really appreciate uh, all of your time and everybody jumping in again. I'm always available as the formulator. You guys are welcome to reach out to us at info at NRC, at TriNRC, uh, or PaulingLabs.com, DM us at, on Instagram or Facebook, um, and visit our website. Um, thank you guys so much for the time today, and um, I, uh, I look forward to hearing your stories and adventures as you, uh, as you move through your health journeys. Thanks very much, guys.